Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm Bob. And welcome to another episode of Bourbon Balls, yeah. uh, where we uh, review... Uh, the bourbon Balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> Evidently. Didn't you have some pizza? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, let's do this again. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Bob. And welcome to Bourbon and Balls. Very good. Hey, and we want to thank everybody who tuned in the last time. We had uh, well over our uh, expected amount of views. Yes, so I was quite pleased. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite pleased on that. So I, I do appreciate that. And don't forget to uh, like, uh, subscribe, and also comment if you could. Yeah. Uh, especially liking that button, it does help us out. Um, and and subscribe, and it kind of tells us, you know, how we can uh, it navigate through all this. There's some analyticals and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so if you do that, that would be great. For old geezers like me, that the like oh yeah, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> yeah, someone didn't know. <laughs> I know, I know. That's yeah, why I don't know that's how why, like. That's why I put it up there. I'm like, this yeah. is how. Yeah, yeah. The thumbs up is the like button on YouTube. Yeah, you don't know how I like it. So uh, <laughs> that was funny. So yes, okay. All right. So today we are going to um, do uh, something. Well, I would say different. Um, well, I guess it is different in a sense. But do you want to? Yeah. yeah well, we we're it. not doing our fastballs episode anymore. We're going to cut those out. So all we're going to have now are the. The main episodes that we're going to record on Tuesday, release on Thursday, and then we're going to have the Bourbon Brawl, um, which we release on Sunday. Yeah. Or, or is it Monday morning? Hey, probably Monday morning. Monday morning. Okay, yeah, Monday, morning. Monday morning. Um, so, yeah, so we're, and so we're going to incorporate bottle reviews into what we're doing here, and we'll still do other things, too. You know, we'll do yeah, top so threes and that kind of stuff. So yeah. Next week, I don't know if you wanted to yeah, talk let's, about let's that later. Yeah, no, you're going to throw it out there now. Okay, so this was suggested by one of our viewers, mm -hmm. uh, Chase. Um, <laughs> he, uh, we are going to do a top five list next week of basically uh, our best bourbons. Period. Yeah. Like, there's no there's allocated, no not allocated, price wise, price range, all that stuff doesn't matter. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. As far as our considered top five of bourbons, period. And then obviously, uh, leave that to you all to go hunt for it or go find it, uh, things like that. But uh, that was suggested by him, so uh, well, it's not like, it's, it's going to be a fun one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that'll be an easy one. It'll be well, maybe a little bit tough just to do top five, but we'll we'll do that. Yeah. Um, so we'll do that, and then um, you know, just to recap our bourbon broad, I, I do highly encourage you guys to check those out. That's, that's actually some fun episodes where you got two bottles going at each other. Yeah. Ours, which one's more superior in a in a blind tasting? Right. And this could be the fourth. Fourth yeah. row for bakers. For bakers, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so uh, stay tuned on that one, and uh, uh, you, you guys will find out whether or not Baker is going to be with the retired champ, mm -hmm. or there will be a new uh, champion that maybe take his place. Exactly. Okay. So on to the uh, bottle review for today. Uh, we are uh, reviewing the uh, Jack Daniels um, Barrel Proof Rye, and okay. I got a I got a cheat here. It clocks That's in okay. at a hundred and. 42 proof. Wow. So be ready. <laughs> so, and I will say this, that any Jack Daniels, because unlike a Jack Daniels old seven, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the gentleman's Jack, I'm not saying that we recommend that at all, but um, anything you find Jack Daniels in this kind of a bottle, honestly, I'd go, I'd grab it if I were you all. It, yeah. It's going to be a solid, a solid bourbon. Yeah, and, we, and we've talked, talked about or we've tasted some others before so i'm sure we'll bring those into play down the road sure as well yeah there's yes koi hill no. yeah the koi hill is 142 proof it's a similar proof um but it's not a rye mm -hmm. um and it, oh, so, i mean just think about it so, good. <laughs> so all right so we are going to score like uh, like we normally do um so our nose is going to be um a value of two we're going to score it one through ten so I'll get a right. times two after that, and then a value on our taste of a five. So we're going to one through ten on that times five, and then a value of three on our uh, finish um, one through ten times that by three, mm. and then that will give you a total composite score out of a hundred. Right. Okay? I'm getting a head start because I'm slower than. Yeah, I was. Yeah, good job on that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's highly recommended. It. Yeah, usually if Bob can stay like one thing above me uh like if he can <laughs> if he can start his taste wider than those then we should in we should finish the uh at the same time uh, so but you can go ahead and give your comments to the nose well jeez I, I really i i like the nose you definitely kind of you taste the spiciness of it this is where you definitely have to have your mouth open oh yeah definitely definitely it this, will this burn. is potent this is very it potent will burn yeah. or not. 
nostrils. Yeah. If you do not put your, uh, yeah. do not leave your uh, mouth open. But There's a spiciness yeah. about it, and maybe a little, little hint of like, like we took an orange peel, and combined it with a red hot. That would be the best way I would think. Man, that's very good. Describe it. <laughs> when you say that, I envision this now. Is that right? <laughs> Yeah, there's, your description is a lot better than. Like, and rice, rice are just different for me. I don't dislike rice. I have to say that I haven't had that many of them, so I'm newer to them. But I can see for myself at some point in time that, like, sometimes I would just be in the mood for something a little, a little more spicy, a little more hefty. Um, so I think to, to me, it's not a. I, I like one better than the other. For me, I think some of it's like, what what might I be in the mood for, or. Maybe even with pairing cigars, you know, what, what kind of cigar do I think might go you know, better with, with, with the rye or something like that. So You can definitely taste the rye in this. Mm -hmm. um, man, it's like almost like, I wouldn't say like pine needles, but it's like, I don't know, you definitely can taste the rye in this. Um, so I'm not saying I'm a rye person either, but and I'm not saying it's bad either. Uh, mm -hmm. but the nose is ex extremely complex. Uh, the taste. Um, Man, you can you can definitely tell that uh, there's rye in this thing. Oh yeah. As far as the finish, that is a long finish. And given the the spiciness of of the smell and the taste, and I think the taste is not quite as spicy. Like a lot of rye will kind of burn on the tip of my tongue. I don't get as much of this. There is a, a little bit more of a smoothness about it. Correct. Compared to the other rye, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, the finish just gone. It's not harsh at all. Sometimes rice will hit so, me in the gut. Sometimes. So last week we did uh, Waller One Hundred Seven. Mm -hmm. Well, in the bourbon brawl, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and I did not particularly like that. And right. that is a rye bourbon. Mm -hmm. This is also a rye bourbon. Mm -hmm. I will say, you know, I know that One Hundred Seven is highly sought out. I get it. Mm -hmm. Um, but for the value of this, this is actually, I think it's less. Well, I think it's like an oh, eighty right? eighty dollar okay. bottle. Uh, well, um, 107 is about $65 bottle if you can find it retail. Um, I would take this over 107 uh, any day of the week. I mean, I, I guarantee you if I blind it, I would be able to take that over this. Um, it is This is so much richer and so much uh, bolder mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. when it comes to the rye, if I'm in the mood for the rye. Uh, no, same here. Same here. I, I got to be in the mood for the rye. Um, so um, anyways, as far as scoring as such. Yeah, I'm, I'm cheating with the calculator. If you want well, I'm to borrow sure mine, you you're welcome to do that. So no, I uh, yes. So we'll have a bottom of the screen here as far as our scoring and and how we um, come up with our totals. Uh, that way you can kind of play along at home if you want to decide uh, as far as how we how you guys want to do it at home as far as um, the scoring and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so um, based on that, I already have my score, which. On mine, why why Bob's doing his math? Assuming my math is right, you'll find that at the bottom of the screen if it is. Um, I gave my um, nose a nine. Um, I thought it was the best part of the bourbon, um, and not saying that the other part wasn't bad, uh, but man, it was freaking good. Um, and then an eight on the taste, and then an eight point five on the finish. I thought the finish was really good. Um, it stayed with you. And that's why I kind of look for a finish where it doesn't die off or anything. Right, right. Um, so that uh, gave me a total score, I believe, of 83.5. Uh, okay. If, if I'm right. Yeah, and I, I don't think we're too far off. I, I scored the 7.5 on the nose. I scored it an 8.25 oh. 8 on the taste and an 8.5 on the finish. So What did that give you? It uh, gave me an 81.75. Well, I have two points. Yep. Mm -hmm. 83. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, good. Yep. So, um. That might be the highest rye that I've scored. I'll say that. I don't know. I think Blood Oath, Blood Oath uh, was it was was a was a rye that yeah. came in uh, really high for me. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I'm pretty sure I cracked, it cracked ninety for me. Yeah, you might. Yeah, it might have done that. So, but anyway, so yeah, that's our uh, that's our bourbon review on this Jack Daniels uh, barrel proof rye, a uh, single barrel. Um, and actually, this as of right now, it's it's allocated. However, they have made a um, on their press statements or whatever, uh, this is supposed to be a shelfer uh, once okay. they get the ramp up production. Okay, so you'll start be able to see this on your guys' shelf uh, with no problems to get in. I do recommend this as a buy 
Um, I think anything in the 80s, uh, mm-hmm. at least for me, I recommend it as a buy uh, on, on something like this. But uh, for me, it's one of the be- better rides that I've had. Very so, good. All right. So that's that. And then uh, we'll be right back and uh, we'll walk over the uh, uh, NFL stuff and um, talk about some fantasy picks and NFL picks for week four. Very good. All right. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Yes. Um, we are now going to go over some uh, sports news. Yeah, we're going to start out with some fantasy football. Sure. Go for it. Yeah. So you're excited about that, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. We're good. So, top baby over there. Hey, can we talk about college football for a second? You can talk about college football for a second. Like in order of operation as far as college being a sure. stepchild? No, no, that sounds good. That sounds good. That was pretty ugly. It was pretty. So we're talking about the Colorado, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oregon game. Um, yeah. Cool. That was bad. Um, the Dion didn't make any kind of um, excuses, which I do like, but mm-hmm. he just said that's a good old fashioned uh, butt whipping. So, yes. Um, cool. That that was not so good game. Um, I think I think it revealed what their problems are, which we kind of knew already. Their interior linemen are not that good defensive and offensively, and so. I think it's going to take them another year to get those guys in, and then mm-hmm. you're going to see a, a big difference. So. Which was kind of the expectation, but they, yeah. you know, they they were drawing a lot of a yeah. lot of, a lot of views, and you know, college game game day went there twice. You know, yeah, so, Fox, every the whole yeah, club, so yeah. interesting. Um, yeah. But the Ohio State Notre Dame game, yeah, that was exciting. Was that what you call it exciting? Was that fourth and goal, by the way? I don't. I, I, or, I, it was like I, a few seconds. Ago. I was I was in a half sleep, and I kept, just okay. kept thinking about. I just knew it was the last play of the game. I've got I've got money, and it's going to be a push. That's all he was thinking. Oh, you pushed that game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's why you're probably not too excited about that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, I guess Ryan Day had some few choice words from ninety year old uh, Lou Holt, poor guy. Yeah. Um, but you know he just loves his Notre Dame as, as well as he should. Have. And, <laughs> and Ryan Day is like picking on him and calling him out like he's, you know, somebody. But anyway, for whatever that's worth. Um, but anyway, that's 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 my college spiel. Uh, then, of course, Cincinnati lost to Oklahoma as expected, and they'll probably lose quite a few uh, Big 12 games for a while. No, you're, you're not happy, not happy with No, it's catch. like Tuberville 2.0. So I think uh, this um, Satterfield guy, He'll last a couple of years. He'll run the program into the ground, and then uh, we'll get somebody else from. Uh, we'll get an assistant from Ohio State. I know how the thing. You know, I've seen this movie too many times, so that's how that's how it goes. So, anyways, I digress. Gotcha. We'll, let's move on to uh, okay. fantasy football. And uh, yeah, and that, I think some of that you know was legit, and I think some of that was just Charlie avoiding talking about yet another fantasy loss. Yes. And uh, I'm one and two though. It's not like out of it yeah no you're not not you're not out of it you're not out of it point total wise i'm not doing that good no <laughs> you're, not, you're not looking good you are not looking good um and you did you did pull off a trade which um yeah i did that wasn't calvin, gonna happen calvin ridley i got calvin ridley he mm-hmm. got mark andrews and as a wash because i think they both got five points so <laughs> that, that shit that didn't even matter and then the guy that was a lesser wide receiver was Keenan freaking out, uh, and then he went off. <laughs> so I mean, damned if I do, damned if I don't. And I so. think he, I think uh, Johnny Nice lost this game as well, right? The guy. Oh yeah, he, with, yeah, yeah. Johnny Nice lost too. So yeah, yeah. So. Oh, and I forgot. Like I, I, I kept bringing up uh, Young Hazel winning your division. I was wanting some side bet action on that. Hazel, who's Hazel? Hazel, she's uh she's she's the team leading your division in points and everything else. Nineteen year old girl, second year uh Where'd fantasy you... owner. Who is she associated with? Uh you know my friend Mooney, that's his daughter. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, well, that's probably the... never mind. I'm not gonna You don't want to side bet on that? No, I'm not gonna side bet. Oh and... man, I'm she obviously you. has a pretty good team. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, I knew from the draft she's gonna she's gonna win your division. I, I called that out early, so okay. All right. All right. So um uh for me I I lost as well. Um I made this stupid mistake of leaving somebody questionable in. So, um, and on, in. on Thursday, uh, I left um, Brandon Ayuk uh, for the oh, Thursday okay. night game. Okay, and I was working late Thursday night. And also, I have to take some ownership of this, too, because I think I got done about quarter to eight. And you know where my focus went? This is sad to admit. What? Wings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to get wings before the game. No, no yeah. All I had to do is pick up my phone. Right. <laughs> and look, but no, I had to okay. call and order the wings and get them on okay. my way home. And so, like, that's, whoops, sorry about that. That's to- totally on me. So, totally uh, on me. Wild Wings? 
or we no, I went to Frickers, which is not my favorite place, oh, but it's convenient. It's yeah, right. they're overly breaded. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's convenient, and I. I you know what I like about uh, Wings and Rings is they make their own blue cheese. I'm not a blue cheese person. I'm a, I'm a ranch person. All right. Yeah. All right. Anyways, go ahead. Oh, sorry, we, food gets me. Yes. Going somewhere else. So, uh, yeah, and I um, but I did have you know I did have some good spots. My man um, uh, Puka Nakua. That's how I remember his name. I sing that song. I mean, Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. But yes. I say, Puka <laughs> Nakua. Right. He's good. He's good. But he, he did okay last night. Yes, yeah, it was like 72 yards and four first down receptions. Yes. So, yeah, he did he did pretty well. So, um, But we're both we're both losers this week, and I just thought I'd give you a little lesson on how to talk after you've had a loss in fantasy because I know I that's like a to. difficult thing for you. I don't like to talk about anything that I lose at. I know, exactly, exactly. But it doesn't make for exciting banter on podcasts and YouTube shows, just so you know, so you're aware. Well, because <laughs> also, not only did you point that out, someone else pointed it out, too. Uh, just the fact that, um, yeah, they didn't say, you didn't cover much fantasy that week. And mm-hmm. I was like, well, because I lost. So. <laughs> um, but we're about to find out here in a minute what I want to talk most about. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be your cure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But I will try to do a better job on owning up to my own mistakes. And um, I'm just not, too, honestly, I'm not used to losing. <laughs> Why? How many bets have you won against me? No, no, no. I'm talking about like fantasy football. <laughs> oh, I'm like not football. like, like. That's because tr- you play in the league with training wheels. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> they watch this. That's okay. They're good mind. too. They are experts at their craft. They are experts at their craft without a waiver wire. They have a waiver wire. So it's first come, first serve. Uh, a <laughs> waiver wire. That's a training wheels league. And then when they live on the West Coast, <laughs> I wake up at 7 a.m. I've got all the waivers I want and they're still in bed. That's so why. That is that's lovely. A... <laughs> I love that waiver wire. That's, so that's, great. Why, that's, why, that's why you're struggling. Yeah. yeah. All, right. Yeah. all right. All right. So going on to the picks, and don't worry, he'll get chatty about this. Um, as far as last week's results go, uh, poor Jason, he only had one win and he picked the chargers in the, in a pick em game. Uh, Steve had two wins. He got the commanders plus six and a half and the Packers minus two. And then, uh, me, I had the dolphins minus six. I got three points with the dolphins minus six and a half Philly minus five and a half and the chiefs minus 13. Jeff also had three points, and he had the Bills minus six and a half, the Colts plus eight, and the Steelers plus a point and a half. And then Keith had a good showing. He's he's kind of making a comeback. Um, four points for him. He picked the 49ers minus ten and a half, the Dolphins minus six and a half, Philly minus five and a half, and the Pats minus two and a half. And Charlie, our first time. Yes. Five time five game winner, five for yes, five. Yes, I went five I went five for five. So um that was like too easy. I'm just kidding. That's because no. it was a back back ass word uh, week in the NFL. It was a lot of blowouts, <laughs> a lot of blowouts. Um, and my confidence pick um, was a little closer than I thought it'd be, but nevertheless, um, they they beat. Uh, it's just Atlanta's horrible. The the quarterback Desmond Ritter again. I like I said. Before, oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm a UC guy. I watched him play all the snaps. He's not an accurate quarterback. I don't understand why he is. Maybe a backup quarterback mm-hmm. at best but i don't understand why he's starting so why he continues to start i'm gonna tell you right now i am probably gonna go the other side on spreads uh, with him <laughs> i just don't i don't see it and we'll talk about that here in a yeah, moment yeah the, 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 there'll really be, like. pa- be a pattern going yeah, a pattern so going. um so yeah so that being said in that miami game good god <laughs> that was like the nintendo game you know yeah i'm sorry i didn't get to see that way yeah i was i was i had met uh a uh, friend of mine, Kevin, who I actually was, I was playing this week and um, at at New Ales. Which yeah. I got to give a little plug to, to yes. New Ales, which is in Middletown. If you're in, in the Middletown area, good, yeah. downtown Manchester. Very good craft beer, which, which by the way, mm-hmm. uh, we got invited or we got approval. All for, right. We will do a like uh, podcast at some point down All there right. um, rather than this venue that we're at now mm-hmm. uh, to where we'll do a uh, blind beer tasting. All right, I like that. So shout out to New Ales in Middletown. Yes, um, I look forward to that. Yes, they, yeah. I'm not a big craft. I, I will say this, and I'm being honest. I'm not like yeah. bullshit. Mm-hmm. I, otherwise, I wouldn't say it. Right. I'm not a big You're craft a, beer person. Or beer in general. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. But I will say there are a few beers there that I did uh, really like uh, mm-hmm. and enjoyed. So um, 
um, I, I am excited to go down there to do that. Yeah. So. And even though I'm not sure exactly when we're going to do that, just, yeah. to, just to give you my two cents. I mean, just for a few that I've had that I like. their Dunkel is really good. I don't remember the name of it. Um, and their gross, which is a, a post called post moment lawn is really post good for lawn. lighter beer, lighter beer. And the country dreamer is good too. Okay. I had um, the, the, the Caprio. Is that right? Okay. I want to say DiCrapio because that's why I call them <laughs> Leonardo DiCrapio. DiCrapio? Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> there's some lemonade DiCrapio drink, not yeah. crap, but whatever you get. Yeah. It, but it's really good. But and anyways. They have, and they have a nice selection of ones that are, are staples there, and yeah. they're always rotating some new ones in sort. and out. So, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good place. But anyway, I was there, um, and we couldn't believe the score. Like, we're yeah. both checking our phones, and then um, – it's like a basketball. And it, yeah, it was just it was just like crazy. It was crazy. And the other thing that hit me too, I'm sitting here and, and Kevin is a big Cowboys fan. Okay. Now I'm sitting there talking to him and he's telling me about who everybody who's injured. And da 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 da. And of course that's one of my picks, right? I've got okay. it in two parlays. Okay. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, why in the hell did I not consult Which? this Cowboys fan? Yes. On the on the on the on the Cowboys game. <laughs> Which I will apologize in advance about the parlay, by the way. You, you brought up parlay. Uh-huh. I might have, like, screwed up the video last week, and I don't know how many of y'all <laughs> even realized it, where the video did not match the audio when I when it came to what was Bob As far as the saying. graphics, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I made my own parlay up. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I got this for you. Okay. So this is something for you to drink while okay. I talk. And All right. Because the reason I, I couldn't explain it to everybody is because Charlie must have interrupted me three or four times when I was trying to. <laughs> this has gone awful, dude. <laughs> this is like a pun this is punishment. And this is this is not this is not not, is this not one I've given. This is yes, it is not it is you not, didn't bring not, it? I did not bring it. I and promise. I own this. You own this. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I promise it's not the one I surprised you with before on another on another take we did one time. Um it's oh it was a different one. So so and so the purpose of this is you know to get what? him to just to shut up for a little bit. Yeah, I'm going I'm to score this too, by he's the way. Still, he's still struggling with, so I can explain to you how we're, how we're actually doing the parlay of the week. Um, and even though we didn't win last week. So what we're doing is we're taking the, the current standings as they are, and we're taking the top three people, and, and we're asking every everybody who gives the five picks to give us a confidence pick. Oh, good, dude. Good, good. <laughs> so... Um, so so that's how we're coming up with our 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 three game parlay, and obviously we'll tell you what the other guy said in terms of their confidence picks. If you want to take it to four or five or six, I so own this. Recommend three. I'm sorry, I own this. You own this, yes. Uh huh. I promise I didn't bring anything along. I promise. Oh, and I also forgot to add um, all this talk that we're talking about. It's all for entertainment purposes, if you yeah. know what I mean. So um, yeah, we don't. Um, we're not responsible for what you do with the information that we share. So. Um, you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how in the world I own this bourbon. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, and the, go. Ahead. And the other thing I want to mention too that my initial thought with doing this was that since we're, we're each picking five games, it's like which games might we all have the same teams on and use that. But because there's so many different ones to what you need, buddy. Can I have some crackers? You can have some crackers, sir. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Carry on. <laughs> all right. Um, but we, but that leads me to we will we will have a bonus parlay for this week. So there are actually going to be two parlays that we'll leave you with, whether you want to use those or not. You know what doing this reminds me of? What? I'm sorry, doing I can't this whole, think right that's now. okay. That's okay. This thing is so horrible. So do you do you remember like I want to say it was ten years ago, but it's probably more like twenty years ago. Early morning Sundays on the AM AM stations that carry some sports around here. You'd have these wise guys on early in the morning. Yeah, they're the bets. Use guys. Yeah. You use guys <laughs> gotta call one eight hundred Bobby yeah. Charlie to I get our free three game parlay. <laughs> this is what it makes me think of. Can I, can I ask you something? Yeah. What what is this? Okay, you, okay, we got yeah, I got the reveal now. Okay, I'm yeah, just got off. I can't believe I own this thing. This is awful. And somehow you need to pick it. Well, oh, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. What a shame. Is that a shame? Okay. <laughs> I just gave this high reviews. Yes, you did. I don't like this. Well, that's How okay. How did you know I like it? Huh? Did you know I didn't like it or you know it wasn't good? No, I was just going to just try something to kind of surprise you a little bit. I didn't know. I wasn't sure how that's it would do. a damn shame. So this is Jack Daniels Bonded. This is awful. Okay. 
What'd you score that? I quit. You quit. <laughs> <laughs> that was so awful. I wasn't expecting that answer. <laughs> well, I quit. I, I was scoring I, it, and I, I just couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> if I had a score, like, total-wise, honestly, I would have gave it, like, a 35 or 40. Okay. Not even 40. Like, 30, 35. It's awful. <laughs> and that's the other thing, too. Dude, you you smell can, this. Uh, and you can be affected by what, what you us had. We had a really nice... Yeah, but smell right that. Before, yeah. That's funky. That is funky. How's this a Jack Daniels? Whew. You know what this is? What? This is Jack Daniels 7. Um, basically a hunter proof. It's awful. This is not. I think the is, nose is funkier than the taste, but yeah, neither. This is not a buy. Are, Anyways, we're not here. Well, the aftertaste is like. It's awful. It's um. It makes you want to drink something. You need to oh. see. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Excuse me. You know what we got to do? We should do. We should do a thing where we <laughs> we each give each other like bad bourbons, and see, and the winner becomes the lowest score. However, we got to score it. it that's Ooh. the winner. All right. That's what we gotta do. We gotta do a yeah. segment of how yeah. bad can we, how low can we go? <laughs> I like that. Yeah, how low we can go? You know what? We may do. That. We may. We might do that. Because that was, that was awful. Oh my god! But man. you know what? I don't think I have a lot of bad bourbon. I mean, there's bourbon, there's good bourbon, but yeah. that's not good. That this is not a buy. <laughs> all this is is um, old seven, proofed, proofed up. up. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. So, yeah. anyways, all cool. right. I don't know. I'm gonna get seven. <laughs> it goes, it's right. off from over here I'm sorry. Where'd we go? Uh, what? Yeah, where have we left off? Uh, did I do everybody's picks? So I did the five and zero. Oh, yeah, we're on to uh, well, we're on well, to this week's pick. Well, and the current standings. So the current standings right now are three way tie. Three way tie. Jeff, myself, and Charlie dating seven. Keith at seven and eight. Steve at five, eight, and two. And Jason at four and six. So nobody's in horrible shape right now. You went from last to first, and yes, Keith has made a comeback as well. So. It's all pretty even. But right I will now. say this: Would you not agree? This is going into week four. You starting to the, the season start. The teams are starting to shape up to where you oh, yeah. kind of have their identity, right? right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, for instance, the Jets—they're going to suck all year. You know that. <laughs> um, Atlanta—they're probably going to win a few games, but they're primarily going to suck all yeah. year. Mm-hmm. Um, the Dolphins, barring injury, right, 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 right. This is all barring injury. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, two, two is two has got to fall, right? Yeah. Got to use his kung fu or whatever his uh, taekwondo, whatever he learned. What? Yeah, you don't know about that. No, he's like dude. he took he took no jujitsu. He took he took lessons to help him learn how to fall and to turn his body like when he's falling so he doesn't hit his head. You didn't really? know that? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a big deal. Oh wow. So supposedly this is going to help him okay. with the con- concussion issues. All right. So well, all right. Let's go yeah. on to um this week's picks. Yes, or this how the our three games, right? Yep. Go ahead. All right. So we're going to start with our. Uh, three NFL games, and this is all based on interest from the guys here that are picking, that are picking with us. And our first game is Detroit minus one at Green Bay, a close game. And um, But we are unanimous on this, and I think this is the first time like four of us have been unanimous on a game. So I've got myself, Jason, Jeff, and Steve all on Detroit. Um, Man, that's still a hard one. That's a hard game to pick. It is. Well, my rationale was, was looking through Green Bay's Injury list and they, it was pretty big and there were a lot of guys who didn't even participate. It wasn't okay. like they were doing like limited practice and stuff. I know um, Aaron Jones is going to be coming back, but, the, but he's been out for, for two games with a hamstring, so I don't think he's going to be like killing it. Okay. And, I, and I have him on my one of my fantasy teams. I can't remember which league it is, but you know I would like for him to do good. But I that was kind of my rationale at least for for going going with Detroit. Okay, all right. And the next game is uh, we're talking about some is Washington at Philadelphia. Philadelphia minus eight. Man, they're on. A, they're starting to get on a roll. They are. They are. I think they started out a little sputtery. I guess yeah. would be the word I would use to describe. Well, it, it's almost they, like every team needs its own identity. They're trying to figure out yeah. what that is. Every year is a new year. No, I agree. Um, I agree. Like for instance, I think the Bengals. I'm not. I mean, their identity right now is the, their defense. Oh, that was painful a little bit. The watch. Well, yeah, it's like they were. You couldn't throw the ball more than ten yards. No, I don't know why he wasn't doing that. Yeah. Maybe because he had to get rid of the ball so quick because he don't get tackled and yeah, injured. Might have been injured right. Yeah. So he couldn't throw. I think that is a lot about it. I, I wanted him to sit out, to be honest with you, but. Yeah, so did he I. St- he stuck it out, you know, but. But they mentioned this. Um, Jamar Chase on the slot. They're oh. right. No one can cover him. Yeah. Uh huh. Because they got the nickel backs. And they, and they were moving him around a lot, too. He wasn't just doing the slot. He was he was doing Digging different patterns. Game. 
What's Higgins, that? Higgins had a bad game. Oh my gosh, he man! He's dropping all kinds of balls. Right, I know. There. Oh yeah, it was killing me. It yeah. was. I mean, it was bad we won, but like I, I think I, I, I don't know. I aged, I aged a few years. But in that right game. now, I would say like most teams for the Bengals, like it's like the defense is their identi- identity. Mm-hmm. Um, I would yeah. say that um, you know, for Philly, they're trying to figure that out, and um, I mean, they got a nice running game. Mm-hmm. So. Well, and and I think I mentioned this before, but you, yeah, you, you, I, and Keith are on Philly. So that's another unanimous yes. pick out of the out of the three games. Yes. So we're we're all on that one. So that'll lead us to the next game, uh, which is the Chiefs minus nine and a half at the Jets. Man, I'm surprised that's still nine and a half. I'm surprised that could be thirteen and a half. And I still and I still there. take I still take Chiefs. Yeah. And just and just as a reminder, this is for entertainment purposes only. But um we do take the lines uh when I get everybody's picks, which is usually yeah, like a, late afternoon, two or three o'clock. Um on a Tuesday. On Tuesday from the Caesar Sportsbook app, so that is where we get our lines at that time. So yeah, I think you're right. I think this line is going to move. You know, it's funny. It's I, I don't mean this personally. I guess if Zach Wilson broke a leg, the line might go up. Like it might, it may, it may <laughs> oh, go. That's no, it may that's go to, hard. it may go seven and a half instead of nine and a half. <laughs> like, oh. it, it may improve the odds of what in the game. I'm just saying that he'd be one injury that the line would move the wrong way. He is so bad. He is oh. so terribly bad. Yeah, it's uh, um, and Joe Namath got in trouble a little bit. Uh, he called out. Uh, oh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, he called out um, Zach Wilson. I think it was today or something like that, just saying that he needs to get him out of there. And then Aaron Rodgers, you know, uh, as well as he should, came to his defense on the oh, Pat okay. McAfee show. Um, but anyways, it was it was kind of they're, they're the fans are getting frustrated. Is what it is at the end of the day. Oh yeah. Um, and just they don't have an answer. Oh, they signed Trevor uh, Simeon. Trevor Simeon. Okay. Uh, after For, our, after, off our practice squad, I thought. is he in our practice squad? I don't remember to be honest with you. I he was. couldn't tell you. Okay, he was. So they signed they signed him today. Okay. So I mean, shoot, he can't do no much better or no, worse. Worse, yeah. Right. So, but anyways, all right. <laughs> and I, yeah, I think I mentioned, yeah, I think I mentioned Steve and uh, Keith and myself are all on the Chiefs on that game. So there's three unanimous games that we have right there. Okay. So. And and to get on to the parlay, if you're ready for that. I'll let you do that. Okay. <laughs> so going off the parlay, the way we I tried to do it last week and make sure you listen real closely to this. Okay, I will listen to it again. <laughs> so how do you how do you do the parlay? It is the top three in our standings for total. So this week it would be correct. You well, we yeah, you yeah, you're in it this week, but you weren't last week. Correct. And I, but I forced <laughs> myself onto the parlay last week. If you notice, the screen did not even match the audio. Um, I just made up my own parlay and said, screw it, and didn't listen to one word that Bob was saying. Yes. So, and, so, yeah, so, yeah, so Jeff, you and I are, are the top three, so we would be doing the and, – and what everybody does, I ask them out of their five picks, picks the one that they're most confident in. Yes. So confidence pick – pardon me. Um, Jeff has Pittsburgh minus three at Houston. I have the Chiefs minus nine at the Jets. And Charlie has Atlanta at Jacksonville. Jacksonville minus three. You're you're riding that boat with the with Atlanta, aren't you? And <laughs> Ritter, you can't throw over two hundred yards. And the thing is, is like um, Atlanta's not a team that if they're behind, they can mm-hmm. come back. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. They're not a comeback team. Right, right. Uh, Jacksonville is. A lot of teams are. Um, but if they get behind, they're done. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. You know, Ritter can't throw a deep ball to save his life. Yep. And they so, can't they can't run Bijan and Robinson every single play, you know. So they'll stack. Just the don't box. want to be too one two dimensional. Yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. stack the box, and then that it'll make them throw when he can't throw with the damn. Yeah. Um. So, anyways. So yeah. So, so yeah. So the so the the, the parlay again. It's uh, Pittsburgh minus three. It's Chiefs minus nine and a half, and Jacksonville minus three. If you're feeling ambitious and you want to go beyond three legs, which again, it's up to you. No. Uh, Keith has Eagles minus seven. Steve, the Vikes minus three and a half. Jason, oh, uh, actually, yeah. He said Eagles minus seven. They're minus eight. Oh, maybe the line moved on me and I didn't notice it. So thank you. I appreciate you pointing that out. Just saying. No, it's good. Good to know. Good to know. So, um, and actually, Jason's confidence pick was the same as yours, so he was going with the Jags as well. So actually, you can only Smart take man. it. Yeah, you can only take it. Uh, okay, the four. Take yeah, take it. Take it uh, five deep on that one. So, and the other thing I have for you guys is a bonus parlay, just because we 
organically agreed on these three games that we highlighted. Okay. So I would uh, I would suggest you know Detroit minus one, Philly minus eight, and the Chiefs minus nine and a half. That I'm telling you that Packers game. I don't know. That's a, that's a coin flip. Mm-hmm. And and obviously Vegas thinks the same thing. So. So we had four of us on De- on Detroit, so I had to I had to throw it out there. So that's just that's just a bonus parlay yeah. if you so want to entertain. Okay. So um is that everything? We're good? No, we're not good yet because I think we did we know we talked at the beginning about what we're gonna do next week with the or the next show with the bourbons, with the top bourbons, right? Okay, so real quick, okay. I'm not sure if we have because <laughs> I gotta be honest with y'all. This is our second take. It's been a night. It's been a, it's been a night, and damn it, it was our second take. And and this time the video was on, but however, it was pointing that way, and we weren't paying attention. And the whole clip was just me. It was the Charlie and Charlie show. Yeah. And then you heard Bob in the background. Somewhere. Maybe my nose every now. And yeah, then. yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is our second. So I don't even know if we even said this. Okay. So let's say it though. If anyway. we're repeating ourselves, apologies. But yeah, let's. Yeah. So we're doing top five list of anything. Yeah. Uh, for next week, I think that'll be fun. There'll be no uh, top top five list. Period. Yeah. yeah allocated, uh, not allocated. Thanks price to uh, one of our uh, our yes. subscribers, Chase. Yeah. Uh, he suggested that, um, and that reminds us. You know, feel free to comment to any uh, other future episodes that you guys mm-hmm. would like us to cover, whether it's a top five list or as a bottle review. Um, like you said before, yeah. it'll give me a reason to go yeah. hunt if I don't have it. No, and that's the other thing too. I know we got a couple guys out there that hunt. Yes. Besides, you know, so if you if you pick up something that we haven't had our hands on, or you think we we might need to review it and compare notes, then by all means, let okay. us know. We appreciate it. And then um, let's see here. Um, other than that, just uh, comment, uh, like, and su- subscribe. Subscribe, yeah, like we always ask. We do appreciate everybody that has already, but keep them coming. We appreciate it, and I hope you guys are enjoying the shows. Okay, thank you. Catch you guys next time. Thank you. Bye bye.